the one meter diving competition and our expert this year is a man whose name has been elected to join such other illustrious ones as Donna Deverona and Mark Spitz in the Swimming Hall of Fame just recently former three-time world champion and Olympic gold medalist Phil Boggs Phil we don't often see one meter diving it's not an Olympic event what to look for Jim the one meter is only three feet above the water surface yet many of these divers are doing the same dives that I did in the Olympics on a three meter ten feet above the water surface the keys here are explosive strength and quickness. And this is an event which, unlike the three-meter diving earlier, can have an effect on the team race because the defending champion, and again a contender for the title, is Matt Scoggin of the University of Texas. What kind of a diver is Matt? Well, Matt Scoggin has all the elements. He has the explosive strength and the quickness, plus he has a cat-like awareness and the mental toughness to be consistent and accurate. Now, one-meter diving is not an Olympic event. But Scoggin and Bruce Kimball, the University of Michigan, are ones to watch for this summer. Scoggins and Kimball are leading hopefuls to be on the United States Olympic team. And since the United States Olympic team is the number one ranked diving team in the world, we should see some terrific diving here. The contest consists of 11 dives in all. We're going to be watching action from the last round of dives. There are seven judges who score each dive on a scale of 1 to 10. The two high and low scores are dropped and then the remaining three scores are added and multiplied by the degree of difficulty to come up with a score for each dive. And the standings with one dive to go show Matt Scoggin of Texas with a healthy lead as he endeavors to defend his championship. Second place is freshman Scott Fosdick of Florida. Good battle for third between Bruce Kimball of Michigan, his teammate Kent Ferguson, and Lenny Leyland of Miami. First diver we will see in this round is 19-year-old Scott Fosdick of Seabrook, Texas, one of the most highly recruited freshman divers in intercollegiate diving, a two-time national age group champion in this event and a world age group champion in this event last year. That was a front one and one-half somersaults with scores. Good scores for Bosdick. They are in the range of eight and nine. They give him 62.40 points on the dive, and he becomes the current leader among those who have dived in this round. Uh, he's put a lot of pressure on the remainder di remaining divers. So forward, one and one half somersault, starts forward, somersaulting, opens up, two twists, straight in the water. Now here is 20-year-old Bruce Kimball of the University of Michigan, better known as a platform diver. He's a five-time United States champion in platform diving events, and he's in fourth place coming into this last round of dives. Bruce is better the higher up he goes. Lower levels, he can't do those most difficult dives. But the easy dives he does, he does well. Needed scores of nine and a half to catch Fosdick and move into the lead among those who have dived in this round. And it's a good dive. He's going to wind up with 62.4 points, the identical score which Fosdick recorded. And his total of 498 will leave him in second place behind Fosdick. Now the elements that judges look at are the approach and the takeoff, how high they get up in the air. Bruce doesn't get as high as some of the other divers, but the entry, that last element, is excellent. Now here is Kimball's teammate, Kent Ferguson of Michigan, the man who earlier won the three-meter competition here. This is a reverse one-and-one-half somersaults that we saw Bruce do, this time with two-and-one-half twists, one more than Bruce did. difficult dives that Bruce can't do. You get a suggestion of the difference in upper body strength, particularly between Ferguson and his teammate Kimball. Scores in the seven range on the dive. He'll get a total of 67 and a half points for that dive, and for the moment, that moves him into second place. And here is the man who held the lead coming into this round, Matt Scoggin of the University of Texas, trying to win the championship for the second consecutive year. 20 years old, hometown is Great Falls, Virginia. Scoggins is doing the same dive we saw Ferguson do, reverse one and one half somersaults with two and one half twists. He's got to know now that he needs only to complete the dive to win. He doesn't even need a good dive. Scores of four and a half and five will give him the lead ahead of Fosdick. Sometimes that li little dive necessary to win will get you in big trouble because you'll think be thinking about the win, not on the dive. Not here. Matt did a great dive. Solid scores, sixes and sevens, a total of 61 and a half on the dive. More than enough to ensure Matt Scoggin of his second NCAA title in one-meter springboard diving. So, 
Final results show Scoggin the winner. Second place, DeFosdick of Florida. Third place, Kent Ferguson of Michigan, followed by his teammate Bruce Kimball. And Lenny Leyland was fifth. Now